If you edit long form videos in CapCut, like videos 10 minutes or longer, this is for you. CapCut has a new feature called Sub Projects. Well, it's not called that yet, but it will be soon, and I want to show it to you and how it can help you. I'm in CapCut for desktop on PC, and this is version 4.5.0 beta version 1. I'm inside a project, and I have video, I have audio, I have stickers, I have text, I have all these things. Now, it's a pretty short project. It's only about 30 seconds, but this was a section that I wanted to use specifically in another video. I wanted to keep this organized and be able to get this all settled the way I wanted it and then just drop it into the main video without having to export this as an mp4 and bring it in. I still wanted to be able to make minor tweaks if I needed to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting everything. So I'll just click over on the right side of the timeline in this empty space in the tracks. I'm going from top to bottom and then all the way to the left to make sure that I've got everything. Then I'll right click and I'll click on create compound clip. Another way you can do this without using the mouse is on your keyboard board, click control A. That's the shortcut for select all. So that'll select everything on your timeline. And then instead of right clicking and saying create compound clip, you just press alt and G on your keyboard and that will convert it to a compound clip. So once you have that done, whichever way you decide to do it and you have your compound clip, then you just want to select the compound clip right click with your mouse and select save preset. Cut will do its thing to save it all and it'll pop up with a message that says save to my presets. So what was the point of all that? Well now if we go into any project and I'm just going to start with a blank project but in any project that you have come into if we look in the materials panel which is up on the left side here and we look under import and devices. If devices is collapsed, you might need to click it to expand it. And then you'll see this item that says your presets. And if you click that, well, by golly, there's the compound clip that you saved from the other project. You just hit the little plus button or drag it down to the timeline and there it is. And if you want to explode this out the way it was in its original project where all the elements are separate, just select it, right click on it and click undo compound clip. And now we have all the clips and assets that we combined together to make that compound clip in the beginning. Now, not only is this really helpful if you have a long form video, and the reason I say over 10 minutes is because with all the AI features in CapCut, the longer your video and the more clips you have, the longer it takes to process things like the enhanced image and the enhanced voice and all the other things it has in there, the retouch, the lighting, whatever you're using. So if you can work on your big project in small smaller batches and get it refined the way you want it to, I think the overall performance of CapCut will be a much better experience. Also, if there are certain things that you include in every video, maybe you've got an intro or an outro or a section that you like to include in every video, you can go ahead and create that once, make it a compound clip, save it as a preset, and then every time you start a new project, you can just come up to your presets and drop in that asset. This could also be handy if maybe you don't have a section that you use in every video, but maybe you have a logo, maybe you have a lower third and a background or something else like that that you tend to need in every single video and you don't want to have to import them individually every single time. Well, you can just take all those things, put them in one compound clip, save it as a preset. Then when you start a new project, bring in that preset, explode it out and all your assets are right there. You'll have to move them around on the timeline where you want them, but hey, they're there for you. The reason I refer to this as sub projects and said that's what it's gonna be called but not what it's called right now is because when I experimented with this in desktop for PC version 4.6.0, test version three, things are looking a little different. I can't say for sure that that's exactly what it's going to look like when the final version gets released, but I'm seeing that term sub projects showing up in enough places that I think that's the naming they're going to be using. So we're back in this project and now we are in CapCut desktop for PC version 4.6.0 test version three. The process starts off pretty much the same. We want to select all the clips that we want to include in this compound clip, then right click, but the option on the menu has changed just a little bit. Now it says create compound clip and in parentheses it says sub project. That's the same option as in the earlier version. It just has that sub project name added to the end of it. By the time they release the final version they may do away with compound clip altogether and just call it sub project. So be on the lookout for that because Lord knows they wouldn't announce it. Once it's turned into a compound clip slash sub project the next thing to do is just like we're doing in the current version. Select the compound clip, right click on it and click 
on save preset. You'll get the same toast message that says save to my preset. Now if we create a new project in version 4.6.0 test version 3 and we want to bring in that compound clip or sub project that we saved, we're going to look in the same place, upper left side, underneath of import and then device and you may need to click on device to expand it out. In the newer version now it's called sub projects. Now this threw me off because when I click that and I looked at the right I'm like there's nothing here where did my stuff go? Well you got to click that little bitty plus button there next to import and then you get a modal that pops up that says what do you want to bring in? And this is really interesting because in here it's not just showing me compound clips that I've saved as a preset but it's also showing me other projects. Maybe their plan is that we'll be able to import one project into another project. That would be pretty cool too. Then you wouldn't even have to go through creating the compound clip and saving it as a preset. Not sure if that functionality is going to continue, but it kind of looks that way. On this modal, you just click next to the compound clip that you saved or the sub project that you want to bring in, then come down and click the import button. If you notice on the left there, there's a little checkbox next to show media from sub projects in media tab. I didn't check that box. All right, so after we click import, you can just drag it down or click the plus button. If you want to explode it out, just right click on it and then click on undo compound clip, sub project in parentheses. And there you have all the clips just like they were when you originally created them. A big thank you to Albert Nuremberg Hypnosis for helping me figure this all out. I definitely don't want to disappoint you. And then every time the microwave goes off, I start barking like a dog. So I'm trying to stay on your good side. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.